Some birthday vibes for you guys. Just a simple question. What was it like out there to be out there for your birthday? Man, it felt great. Uh, I felt alive. <laughs> Had a lot of fun out there with my boys. Um, really just trying to, expel, you know, enjoy this last spring for me. Does it ever shock you how fast spring ball comes around, or is it more just when you get it started? Yeah, it, it shocks me every time. It really just shocks me how how fast this whole college thing goes, really. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. The spring ball's already here, so, yeah. We spent all last offseason asking you what it was going to be like getting the chance to step up. What was it like last year, and how much different does it feel this year, knowing that you can, you can do that? Yeah, uh, I mean, I've always, you know, you got to have that confidence in yourself. Uh, like every player needs to have that confidence in herself. But um, just going out there and, you know, I trust in my guys. I trust all my teammates. I know that they're going to do what they got to do in order to, for me to get my job done. So it's really just about trusting my teammates. They give me that confidence to go out there and play. What do you like about the uh, running back room and the competition that you guys will, will bring about in one another? Yeah, I feel like. Our whole room is just full of dogs. Um, we got so much talent in our room. Uh, it's very competitive. And yeah, I mean, it's very competitive. Everybody is going to have to work for every rep they get. I was going to say, how good do you feel like this running back core can be as well? Because you've obviously got guys that came back from last year, guys that are trying to get healthy too, but also you know, some young players coming in like Kendra and Raphael as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, I feel like our room is very versatile. Um, and yeah, everybody can do different things. So, I mean, it really just depends what, you know, what we all uh, put on film out there this spring on, on the field, so. Your thoughts on the offense and the scheme that <coughs> come with the new offense? I'm actually very excited about this new offense. Um, I feel like for the running backs, it brings us a lot of versatility, allows us to make a lot more explosive plays. So I'm just really excited. And the quarterbacks have said that it's quarterback friendly. Do you feel like it's running back friendly too? Are you guys getting a lot of a lot of chances to get out there? Yeah, I feel like it's it's running back friendly as well. I mean, now for us, you know, we're basically able to get out routes a lot more. So I say it's running back friendly. How, you know, you mentioned Kendrick Raphael. How do you kind of take a younger player like that under your wing? Oh yeah, I love Kendrick. Uh, you know, he's just trying to learn right now. Basically, just trying. If he mess up, you know, just tell him like, look. You know, you got this right here or whatever, you know. But yeah, he's a great kid, he's cool. Um, I'm just trying try to help him out as much as I can this day. It's obviously time flies, as you mentioned. What is wearing this NC State jersey for all these years meant to you? And what do you want to leave behind? Obviously, this is early, you're a long ways from the season. Yeah. What do you want to leave behind? Yeah, I mean, I, I love, I, I'm so glad I, I came here, actually. Like, I love it here. I love NC State. I love wearing the NC State jersey. I love playing for NC State. Um, I really just want to leave behind, uh, you know, I want to accomplish something with my brothers. You know, I want to, I want an ACC championship. I want, I want to accomplish that with my brothers. So I'm really just trying to leave that behind here. Dave Doran talked earlier this week about, you know, the patience of some guys and them having the chance to step up this year. You know, what would you say to somebody that's you know, still kind of waiting and biding their time? And, you know, seeing the rewards that you have now and obviously playing the way that you've done special teams a couple of years ago, too. Uh, so you're acting like the next guy? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, what would you say about your time and, and waiting your turn um, and still making an impact on the team? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, obviously nobody likes to wait or ride the bench, you know. Nobody likes that, but, I mean, you really just got to look at the bigger picture, you know, trust, you know, to everything. Trust the process, pretty much. Uh, you know, have confidence in your ability. And in your play, and yeah, you just gotta look at the bigger picture, man.